What's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. It's your boy, Hot Boy Step, man. Uh, today's video, we're going to get into Forex versus stocks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stocks is more of the companies that represent the dollar worth, their their net worth in the uh, in the stock market. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can look up these companies in the stock market to invest in them. You could buy some stocks and shares and buy options inside the stock market. You know what I'm saying? And make money off of that. But in like Forex, we talking about Forex versus stocks. Forex is just the exchange of different currencies. Like for example, the money we use in America is the dollar the US dollar and then you got the European dollars and the Japanese dollars and the Australian dollars and the New Zealand dollars and the African dollars and the French dollars like man all of these is like yen pounds and like all type of different stuff but you get what I'm saying when they got different values amongst each other so it's like what we looking at right now is a stock. This is the S&P 500. So it's like, it's going up and down. Like this is the way I like to look at charts. So it's like four at a time. And then next thing you know, we gonna get into the subject of Forex versus stocks. Like stocks is just more like the availability to you amongst learning about stocks is to just buy some, buy some stocks, buy some shares in these stocks. You know what I'm saying? Buy some shares in these stocks. And then next thing you know, these these values of these shares is going to go up over time because one good theory out there is all stocks go up. So everybody just buying a piece, a chunk of every single share in a lot of these known companies that they tie to, and next thing you know, they trying to make money off it. They trying to uh, have the money sit for a long time, maybe a week, maybe a month, maybe a year. You know what I'm saying? Two years, three years, four years, five years, ten years. If you're lucky, something like Bitcoin, you would have held for ten years, and you would have been a millionaire by now. Okay, so the name of the game is to win. But in, in um, stocks, the, the most game played to win is going up, okay? So you're going to buy a call or you're just going to buy a piece of a share for this thing to go up and have the value go up, okay? But in Forex, when you're talking about Forex, when you're talking about Forex, you talking about trying to make money whether it goes up or it goes down. You know what I'm saying? So you trying to bet the money for it to multiply for every single pip for it to go in the up direction or in the going down direction. And shoot, don't make the wrong decision. You know what I'm saying? Because in Forex, the money is fast. It's like if you was to buy a share in stocks, you could pretty much picture that share to be like 0.1 in Forex. You know what I'm saying? Just a little tiny piece of a share so it can just go up over time. Like, So people get like 10, maybe 100 thousands of shares and have that value go up. And you know, it's pretty safe in stocks at the same time. It's like you get a net of safe like you get a safe haven net so even if the stock is going in the down posi position your your position is still held in stocks so it's like so as long as you holding that stock for like you know months and years it's gonna be different dips in the stock market on how it's gonna pretty much you know like move how it's gonna move in its path you know what i'm saying so it's like in forex you betting on it to go up or down. In stocks, you really bet for it to go up. And, man, in 
Forex, man. I'm going to just say this one last thing about stocks. In stocks, the money is slow. But, like I said, you got that safe haven net. And it's going to put you all the way through there. If you wait for a long time. So, in Forex, I'm going to just say it like this. You can make money a lot faster. But, you can also lose money a lot faster. But, you just got to have your technical analysis. Technical analysis there. You know what I'm saying? Have your technical analysis there. And then, as, as far as like drawing all the charts out, like drawing your trend lines for all the bounces or anything you see that possibly could be the, you know, the trend for it to go. You know what I'm saying? And make that trade. And shoot, if you time it just right, you buy low, sell high, whatever you're trying to do, shoot, you could come out very profitable. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this is my little indicator chart list thing going on, man. Don't worry about this. This is something I, I be looking at every day. You know what I'm saying? Comment below your indicators and your, uh, what's in your watch list amongst, uh, amongst, uh, you know, things that you watch, whether it's stocks or Forex. You know what I'm saying? So, what we learned today, I don't want to have to repeat everything about stocks, but Stocks, people mostly bet for it to go up. You get a safe haven net. You hold it for a long time. Boom. You get thousands of st of shares. You can get thousands of shares. And then, shoot. Boom. Wait for a long time. You possibly could be a millionaire. Thousand, there, ten thousand. There. However long you hold that trade. Or many different stocks, companies that you have worth it you know what i'm saying in forex you can bet for it to go up or down and then you know what i'm saying you can make a lot of money for it to go down like you could bet one cent for every pip for it to go down in the down position you know you can make like ten dollars or a hundred depending on what it is and what direction it goes you could bet ten cents man you bet ten cent trades Shoot, you can make something like a hundred or even a thousand. You you in the hundreds, shoot, you can make easy hundreds of dollars of ten cent trade. Like it gets crazy. Like, like I'm a long term trader. I'm a long term trader. So it's like I like to hold my trades for like maybe like most of the day. Like hours. Like maybe like six to ten to twelve hours. Because I feel like I know the path is going to go. Like, I don't want to just go in and out and trying to get the most of it. And I see my entry and I see my take profit. You know what I'm saying? So, man, please. Like, this the way I look at it. Like, I look at the real candles. I look at the weekly. I look at the four hour. I look at the two hour. And I'm looking at the 15 minute. And I got my all my moving averages. And I got MACDs, RSIs. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I just be looking at it. You know, it's not too much. Some Bollinger Bands on there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, comment below your indicators in Forex and stocks. It's your boy Hot Boy Step. I'm signing out, y'all.